Good evening, how are you guys doing? Yeah, my name is Dr. Hidare. According to the program, I'm supposed to be funny. Let us see what will happen. I like church. Church is a very nice place. Although I've stopped going to church. Good reasons, by the way. I stopped going to church because I've learned one thing. If you pray in a certain church, remain there. Because you understand it very well. We got a new church in our neighborhood. My father told me, okay, not a new church. They give money. I said, they give money. He said, hey, if you have a good testimony, you will make money. I said, okay. Now, now I had a testimony. Eh? A real testimony. In a primary seven. PLE. You remember PLE? Bambi, I was on the line of the exam, science. Then I checked my pocket. My pen was missing. Now, you know exams start on the line. I asked the invigilator, Madam, I've forgotten my pen. He said, ah, ah, okay, exams start on the line. Enter. <laughs> I said, God, you're in church. I entered inside. As I was entering, the Holy Spirit told me, check under the desk. I checked under the desk. There was a set. It had four pens. I said, God, I will share this story around the world. Now, that was my what? My testimony. We forward to 2019. I went to this church with my testimony. It was, a, it was my first time in this church. The pastor came. He was like, ladies and gentlemen, yes, this is the time for testimonies. I would like to invite all Christians. If you have any testimony, tell us what Jesus has done for you. I remembered what Jesus had done for me. I joined the line. We were three, two girls, one boy. Why do girls always have testimonies? <laughs> ah! Men, we don't have what to share. Men are never sure whether it is a testimony. Was that a testimony? <laughs> Ladies, anything slides, she will almost fall down and she survives. She's like, but Jesus saved me. I was about to fall. He held my hand. <laughs> anything slides. I said, let me go with my testimony. I stepped on stage. The, 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 the lady, she was the first. Woo, woo, woo. Has someone never given a testimony? And you start doubting whether yours is a testimony. It has all the ingredients. There's death, there's suffering, there's pain. There is hunger, everything. I was there, I said, okay, will I finish this thing? People brought, she did, halfway, she had just started. For me, when I was born, actually in labor, my mother died of, of prolonged labor. People started bringing money. Eh, sorry, sorry, sorry. There was... There was a basket. The basket got full. They brought another basket. My father, Simanya, prostate cancer. Eh, sorry. People were bringing money, cattle, chicken. What? Eh! This lady, this lady finished. Actually, she didn't even, they cut her short. The testimony was too long. They said, ah, ah, ah. We have understood. <laughs> she went aside. Lady number two. Eh. Now, the other one was nothing. This one, her testimony was so good that people who gave the first person went and collected back there. <laughs> they told her, Madam, this one is severe. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. She had raised the bar. I said, okay, man, <laughs> what will I do? The pastor said, and finally, we have one gentleman. Uh, what's your name? I said, Hilary, okay. I said, I said, you have a testimony? I said, uh, yeah. I think it is a testimony. I was no longer sure. I got the microphone. There was dead silence. Now, I'm a Christian, members. I tell the truth. I started. So, for me, 2008, 7, I was on the line for exam. Bobby, I checked my po I checked the pocket up here. I checked down here. I checked behind. There was no pen. I said, hey, Jesus, what will I do? I entered inside the Holy Spirit. I mentioned the story as it is. It was silent. Some people were even falling asleep. I had to wake them up. I was like, my members, I'm saying. My testimony. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody was feeling sympathy. I finished my testimony. Nobody stood up. The only person who stood up went to the bathroom. I said, uh-huh. Yeah, bye, yeah. I will not die in my mood. The pastor said, are you done? I said, ah, I'm still. 
Now, on the day when I was born, my father got a heart attack. Immediately, the, somebody, I think, you know, people relate to the same problems. I think that person also, the father got a heart attack. I was like, oh, sorry. He came up with 50K. I said, eh. <laughs> I will manage this one. <laughs> the moment he entered inside my mother, so my mother had high blood pressure. She died. I was like, oh, sorry. Mothers came. You know, mothers are very, she was like, eh. Mothers came. People started bringing money. I said, eh. Jabba <laughs> Sobola. Members, I killed everyone that I know. I killed my mother, my father, my grandfather, the neighbor to our father, the OB of my grandfather, the Facebook follower of my dad. I killed. I killed people. My neighbor, family friend, I killed Museveni. I, I killed people. Now. Everyone, my brother Simanya, he died, you know, UPDF army, so he went to Somalia, he got out of the airplane, they shot him in the head. My mother, I said she died at the Massacre Road. You know there are roads that people trust. You tell somebody they died at Bukotonti, that they're like, eh, but Massacre Road. I even never finished, I was like, she was going on Massacre Road. They said, sorry. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I killed everyone. I almost killed the pastor. At that point, people had brought money, chicken, what? Mothers were bringing their daughters. Take, take, take. There was a list. I was saying, just write your name, write your name. Sign there. We shall make an appointment. Ah! At that point, the pastor came and finished. There were like four baskets. I was okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, let me tell you, you'll realize that you know that when you're telling the truth, if the police is interrogating you for a crime, you can say the same story four times, word by word, because it is the truth. Now, tell her, I was a lie. When you're lying, <laughs> you can forget what you've just said. The pastor came, he was like, son, you have suffered. I said, really? I have suffered, but thank you. But, yeah, yeah, I think this is good enough. I said, this is more than enough. In fact, I've prayed for the whole year. I'm not coming back. <laughs> said, yes, but really, we hope that the you know, Holy Spirit stays with you. I said, very true, very true. Yes, so, um, uh, so tell us, did you come alone? Huh? Did, did you come to church alone? I don't know. My father is there. Stand up. My mother. <laughs> they came the whole family. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Church, I gave up on church.